Hi Danish tubers, today we're going back to basics, into the heart of Danish grammar. Tackling one of its most essential aspects, noun genders. Danish tuber. Imagine this, you're learning Danish and suddenly nouns split into two genders. Sounds a bit puzzling, right? But fear not, because I'm here to guide you through this Danish language labyrinth. In Danish, nouns are either on the N team or the T team. Common gender nouns or N words take the IN article, like IN HUN, while neuter gender rock the IT article, like IT BOR. Unraveling the mystery, a high percentage of them are on the N team. I don't know, like... 75% or something like that. But some super common ones like then or ul are T words. And there's a tad of logic. Uncountable stuff usually turns out to be on the T team, but don't bank on it. So the first rule starting with the T team is many uncountable things are T words, like it arbeiter, a job, it areal, an area, it liu, a life. And yes, even öl, beer, is a T word. That is the actual liquid. If you're ordering in öl a beer, that is a glass or a bottle of beer, then you would use in. Uh. <laughs> Rule two, going over to the N team. Nouns ending in E or ER usually join the N team. Like in scholar, a school, or in computer, a computer. In tier, a tiger. In fetter, a cousin. But watch out for exceptions like mel, food, till, time. These words are short, but they're also on the N team. And the big one, rule number three, learning the gender of each word while learning the word itself is the key to Danish prowess. Sorry, no shortcuts here. I've picked up a few useful tricks over the years though. For example, you can safely pack compound words onto one of the two teams. For example, it bear, meaning a berry, is a T word. So, hinbear, yorbear, swatbear, meaning raspberry, strawberry, blackberry, etc., are also members of the same team. Likewise, you can rest assured that in arbeiter, a worker, in mill arbeiter, co worker, transport arbeiter, transport worker, and civil arbeiter, civil worker, are all on the end team. Mm hmm Now, let's process these rules a little bit. If a high percentage of nouns are on the N team, maybe the trick is to learn the ones that are on the T team. Uncountable stuff? Yeah, usually T words. It tabe, a loss. It liu, a life. Group members like it skret, a step, or it dur, an animal, often make the T cut too. Nouns that are the same in plural, more often than not, are also on the T team. It fall, to fall, a sheep, two sheep, or it dick, to dick, a tire, two tires. And languages, oh, they're on the T team as well because of it spro, a language. So let's wrap it up. Most are on team N. T words are often short, uncountable, and the same in plural. They've got some quirks, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be dancing with the nouns like a pro. When in doubt, use the online dictionary and look under boining, meaning conjugation. This will tell you the gender of the noun. Thanks for stumbling through the world of Danish noun genders with me today. If you love this somewhat tumultuous adventure, give me a like, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell because more Danish language explorations are coming your way. Until next time, hi hi. Danish.